what if I've been getting landmarks all this time pointing to the second 9-11 being in Philadelphia? Click the link below. An explosion on the sidelines of the, of the Lincoln Financial Field Eagles game. A bomb going off. Uh, Obama shows up at the Lincoln Financial Field rising up from the sea that just is right there at the sports complex showing you where Obama's starting at his starting point 4.1 miles starting at he was probably there at Access Road be willing to bet it was probably Access Road where he was preaching at because Broad Street's right there Lincoln Financial Field click the link below Obama shows up the bomb doesn't go off at 17th and JFK at 8.48 a.m. However, Obama shows up. So what if I've been getting landmarks all this time? Like the William Penn Building, 1400, 14, William Penn Building right there at, 17, or at JFK, 1400. And then as you take the access road from the Lincoln Financial Field and you go up and you go around... To the William Penn building and then to the left 800 feet to go you get to the 8 Penn Center building 8 17th JFK it's on the back of a $50 bill uh, a missile hits a, a, a rocket hits and it's Penn Center building 8 it's Already across the street from the Comcast building where the streams of water are. At 8.47, it shows Obama talking about streams of water. And then at 8.48, and, uh, and then Clegg's telling you to pause it there. And then that's exactly what happened on October 21st, 2020, when I went down there. Expecting a bomb at 8.48 a.m. I would, wasn't expecting Obama. I didn't even know he was showing up to Philly, but I was expecting a bomb at 8.48 a.m. Instead, Obama shows up the same day. Harold Camping's world. It's the end of the world, October 21st, 2011, for Harold Camping. That was the end of his world. It really was. And then my world started. And, well, my world, my life started... May 21st, 2011, but it, the Cam Harold Camping's world ended five months later, and then I kind of faded off as well, and then I started back up again April 2nd, 2017. Now, Jonathan Clegg is 58 years old. Liberty 1 and Liberty 2, uh, Liberty... Liberty One, where is this? So Liberty One, the complex is composed of a 61 story, 945 foot skyscraper called Liberty One. 58 story, 848 foot skyscraper called Liberty 2. Liberty 1 and Liberty 2. A two-story shopping mall called the Shops at Liberty and a 14-story Weston Philadelphia Hotel. So John DeClegg's 58 years old. Liberty 2 is a 58-story and it's 848 feet tall. They're twin towers, just like the twin towers in New York. One of them has a tall rod of iron, just like they did. Thirty years ago, one Liberty Plaza. It's interesting. You only see one right here. 
but they're definitely twin towers there, there's no question they're they're more twin looking than the with the designs and shapes and the hendectogram up top when you look from the very top down you're looking down more so what if I was just getting landmarks all this time pointing right around in the direction where the second 9-11 is going to happen oh man even oh check that out you see the William Penn building right in front of it showing the showing the tower See in Click's video showing you the Statue of Liberty with the penis in her hand in front of the in front of the twin towers. You see the missile coming from the sky and the twin towers, these two towers blowing up. Yep, that's exactly what I see too. I see the missile coming from the sky, hitting it, you see the explosion, you see the red, and it looks like two towers coming down. And the center here looks like the center of where the Garden of Eden is in Philly. You have the, you have the missile coming, hitting the two Liberty One and Liberty Two buildings. And the in the center between the William Penn building and the art museum is <clears throat> the garden where there's two V's on one on each end representing the birthing system one coming from one end and the other coming from the other brother so I could have been getting just landmarks all this time aiming towards the Liberty One mainly the Liberty One building and then the Liberty Two so how would you know that it would be the second 9-11 because I've been thinking about these towers twin towers being destroyed like man I don't know something's just not connecting it the twin towers the two witnesses being destroyed but at the same time How would you know it would be the second 9-11 besides two towers getting hit in Philadelphia, Liberty 1 and Liberty 2, and, and then falling just like they did and happening on the 9th of Av, November 9th, because that would be the mirror image of 9-11. <clears throat> and happening at 8.48 a.m. on November 9th, 8.48 a.m. But at the same time, see, there's darkness from the 6th hour to the ninth hour. So that could have... Oh, I think I got it now. Again, it's just, you know, just thoughts, thinking out loud, pushing record on my journal saying hey journal I think this is what's gonna this I think I'm gonna adjust my predictions because from the six hour right as soon as it dawns now when when is daylight losing time is that coming up because right now it gets light around 7 a.m. when it when they change the clocks back you lose an hour's sleep but it gets it gets lighter earlier which means at 5.55 a.m., as soon as the sun go, comes up, it's going to be darkness for 6 hours to the ninth hour. 8.48 a.m. would be the last of the three uh, explosions in Philadelphia, in Center City. That would make more sense for it to be like debris... Because they're going to blame it on a on a stars stars falling from heaven. That was nice of her. Give me some water while I'm waiting. <clears throat> I 
it's going to be blamed on a star falling from heaven because you're going to, it's going to be they're going to be saying that it's a star-studded cast so the stars are falling from heaven and it hits philadelphia first uh, but it's also going to be blamed on terrorist missiles shooting missiles at us maybe even might even be airplanes rumors of airplanes it's not going to be a solid concrete like that that's a definitive exact what happened because it, there has to be more than just one story so the darkness from the sixth hour to ninth hour and 17th jfk i mean i'm still i don't know if no i don't have the 50 dollar bill but anyway when you fold it up it has the identical look of that building on the back of a 50 dollar bill you fold it up it looks just like 17th JFK, Penn Center Building 8, Chase Bank, rounding the turn. But when you go from Lincoln Financial Field up 4.1 miles and you round the turn of the William Penn Building and you go and then you round the other turn because that's the turn, that's the corner that you turn at 17th Street, JFK, you actually can make the left right there as well. That's total destruction in Philadelphia. In three hours. But what about four and one hour, the city was destroyed? Like four of them in one hour. That's another possibility. But darkness from the sixth hour to the ninth hour. So it starts missiles slash stars. Uh really holographic images and bombs that's what it really is set up and so they hit at 17th JFK to start with and to finish would be finishing would be the two twin towers which will absolutely resemble the first 9-11, and then this would be the second 9-11.